Hallow Woodmeister here. I finished putting on the first coat. I'd give you some shots of what it looked like drying. I had it stood up when I was putting it on. And I lifted it up and uh, put it up on top of my saw to finish off the lower portion of it and the feet. Uh, it's coming out very nice. I'm really, really pleased with it so far. Everything is pretty smooth. There are a few imperfections, but that's uh, that's to be expected. One thing I'd like to note here is I, I use uh, very strong lights wherever necessary to light up places that are dark. So you can see, really see how things are coming out. And my shop is pretty well lit as it is, but underneath the bottom part of that secretary there was no light and I had that light shining in there and I could see exactly what was going on. Anyway, we're doing uh, doing quite well on this thing. We'll be finishing up here shortly. Over and out from... Uh, Oh, it's uh, Hal the Woodmeister here, still working on this secretary project. Uh, these pieces I have in front of me have already had a first coat on it. Now it's going to show you what to do in between coats. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Hold it up there. You, there's some small uh, dust particles and things that got in there. I didn't have the shop exactly clean when I put the first coat on. I've since cleaned it all up and run the, uh, I have an air filter system in here that pulls out all the dust out of the air. Didn't uh, think about running that any, either, so I'll run that before I put the final coat on. Anyway, this is a 220 uh, grit sandpaper, same sandpaper I used when I was sanding it down originally. And what you want to do is just uh, lightly go over it and take all those little bumps from dust particles or whatever's gotten in there out. steel wool I had laying here is by which is triple or, or quadruple lot zero 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 and uh, just finish smoothing it out and, and that helps you get in between places like this little keyhole there you don't want to sand over that keyhole and ruin the metal that's in there smooth it all out and make sure everything's perfect And then before you put the second coat on, be sure you take a tack rag or something similar to it. To, we'll take all of the dust particles and everything off of it and put your second coat on. And this thing shouldn't take any more than two coats because it's already been pretty much over the years. Finished two or three times and a lot of that stuff stays soaked into the woods. You can never get it all, all the way out. Anyway, make sure it's nice and clean there, and then uh, she's ready for a second coat. I've done the same thing on these other pieces that I've already finished up. So I'm ready for the second coat on those. And that's, uh, that's enough for right now. I'll give you a little update later. Uh, 
Hello, it's uh, Hal Woodmeister here in the process of putting this little secretary back together. A few more tips on things. Uh, this drawer had a handle on it and the hole was worn out so much that the handle didn't even fit in there properly. This is the original handle that was on there. So what I did was take a piece of a uh, dowel and put it in there, just squirt a little glue in the hole and uh, refilled it and then I'll take and drill that hole out to the proper size and then I think I'll just stick with this handle. I looked at some other handles and they kind of don't match the motif of the thing. So and I'll uh, stick with the original one on that. And uh, some of these parts were pretty well tarnished and you can clean them up just by taking a piece of steel wool and they shined up very nicely rather than replacing it with some more modern things like that. I, I'm going to stick with the original hardware on it. These things are uh, quite old, but I think, I'm pretty sure these are original, so it'll maintain the original motif of the thing, and uh, that'll last another century, I'm sure. I got some um, little legs to put on it to supplement the old legs. I'm not going to take them off. And one of them is broken and I'll replace that with this and add one of these to each part where the leg is off. But quite a few pieces to it and most of them are in good shape. And some of the pieces weren't original. But, uh, I kept all the old screws and everything and some of them are, are rusted. And I might replace some of them but I'm going to try to clean them up and stick with all the original hardware on it. And there were two keys to it. And but uh, these locks still function quite fine. Turn. Everything seems to work fine, so it's progressing along quite nicely. Uh, Till the next update, it's Hollywood Meister signing off. Hello, it's uh, Hal the Woodmeister here. I'm putting the finishing touches on this old secretary. We've got two coats of polyurethane on this. and I want to give it a different sheen. I rubbed it out a little with a quadruple lot to the fine steel wool and it still uh, isn't smooth enough for me. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to hold it up there. But what I want is a, a satin finish on it. So I'm going to sand it down a little with the, this is very, very fine wet dry sandpaper. It's a 500 grit. It goes all the way up to 3000 grit, which is super, super fine. But this is uh, plenty fine enough. And this is a standard paint thinner here. I think they use for thinning down the polyurethane. Spray a thin coat of that onto it. Give a little uh, shot to your sandpaper there. doesn't take too much. It comes down very fast, so you got to be careful not to sand it too long. And uh, just take a, a rag and wipe that down. It's probably hard to discern with the with the camera, but we'll give it a try here. That's the, the sheen after sanding, and this is the sheen before. Uh, I kind of like the smooth finish, or the satin sheen to it, so that's what I'm going to go with. And I think a coat of furniture polish on there will really look, make it look nice and give it a nice satiny antique finish. Onward and upward from Hal the Woodmeister.
Hello, it's uh, Hallow Woodmeister here. Just getting one final shot of all these pieces before I put it back together. I thought I'd give you a close-up of the date when this thing was made. There you go, 1917, February 21st. Thing turned out really nice. I'll be glad when it's all together and I've got it in my uh, living room. I'll put some trinkets on it to display. Maybe some memorabilia of my father who it belonged to, maybe even my grandfather if I can find something. She's all ready to go. I did use the uh, satin finish on it. I decided not to try to work the gloss out because it came out too uneven. So the final coat was all uh, all polyurethane uh, satin by Minwax. So that's the stuff I like to use. We'll be putting it all together here in, uh, shortly and I'll show you some shots of the completed project. Our Salah Woodmeister here and uh, got her finished up. Turned out beautiful. It's more original than it was originally because it has a finish on it that shows the true oak on it. Before it had a translucent uh, finish on there, it was sprayed on there as a refurbishment job. But, uh, anyway, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out, so grab the camera and give you some clip. As you can see, the uh, all the watermarks and everything like that are gone, and the final finish on it came out uh, pretty nice. The mirror is very old and antiquish looking. It, uh, all the rest of it is Finally restored. Going on down to the the feet, and if you look at the door. Yeah, I'll walk around here to the sides, and you can see that top is all done. And sides are all finished, and the back has been uh, completely restored. All the watermarks are pretty much gone. The back has been redone and I replaced the mirror part back there. So that's enough for now. We'll finish up the video and you'll have a nice video on how to restore furniture. Over and out from Hal Lewin, my